hear about Christian McCaffrey, and what do you think about uh, that his decision? Yeah, I heard about it uh, this morning. A couple people were talking about it, a little, little bit on Twitter, too. Uh, I mean, I respect it. I mean, he's got to make a decision that's best for him. I think he made a business decision, and he's obviously a smart kid, so uh, he's thought about it, probably talked to his family about it, and he's doing what's best for him, and no one else is going through that situation but him, so um, I respect it. I mean, he's doing what's best for him. Does it give you pause to think about, you know, that kind of decision? Uh, for me personally, uh, I'm going to play in the game. I mean, I don't think that has anything to do with me, but um, I'm going to do what's best for me. He's going to do what's best for him. And um, But, yeah, I mean, that's, it's, it's a business. So he made a business decision, and I'm going to play in the game. So The season, regular season has been over for a few weeks now, and you've had a chance to sort of step away. you got a routine, I'm sure. I mean, an awful lot of your time has been spent doing with the decision you have to make. Is it kind of overwhelming at times when you see how much attention you're getting nationally and kind of what people are saying about you? The New York Daily News had some kind of thing about the Jets being low or they're smitten by you or something like that. Uh, is that kind of overwhelming a little bit? Uh, at times it could be overwhelming, but I think uh, I'm, the, I'm surrounded by a great, great group of people, my family, great coaches, my teammates have been supporting me. And I just like to stay a step back, put it in perspective that the position I'm in right now is because of the hard work I put in, and it's, it's really just a blessing uh, to be able to have this type of decision. But uh, I, I'm not going to let it consume me. I take it day by day. Uh, I know I'm going to make the decision that's best for me, and uh, it's, it's, it's really in God's plan. So I just got to relax, uh, um, lean on the people around me, and, uh, and just go through the process. But um, uh, I'm not really not thinking about too much because I'm focused on this bowl game first, and then um, after the game, we'll go from there, and then I'll talk it over with my family some more. But I'm definitely not letting it consume me because it's, it's just a blessing to be able to have this type of decision. Is it easy or difficult to deflect outside praise and not let it affect you know, the, 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 the direction that you're on right now? Uh, I think it's difficult just in the world we live in with all the social media thing. I mean, news travels so fast. and. I mean, you get you get all types of people giving you this attention that you may or may not deserve. So um, I know that the type of person I am and how I was raised was just to deflect it. I mean, I'm in, I'm in this position because of the hard work and because my teammates around me have put me in this type of position. So uh, I'm just thankful um, for how the season has went, but uh, I'm still focused for our last bowl game. And I'm um, just continue to get as much information I can, count on the people. Um, that have, have been with me on this journey, uh, especially my family. Coach Bedour said he hadn't told you where he stands on the guys with one season of starting under the belt. Would you like to hear that from him? Um, I don't, I'm not really sure. I mean, me and Coach Fedor have sat down and talked a lot about it, and I really appreciate him and the rest of the coaching staff. They really haven't persuaded me one way or another. They just provide me with a lot of information. Um, about guys who have only started one year, about information about the NFL and all types of things like that. So they've really supported me a lot, and I appreciate that. But uh, it's 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 going to be my decision. I'm glad they're letting it be my decision. I'm just trying to get as much information as possible, thinking about what's going to be, be best for me. But at the same time, I mean, not thinking about too much, not letting it consume me, because I still got uh, this game to play for sure. And after that, I mean, I don't really know, so I'm just focused on that this game right now, playing Stanford. And if you don't mind me asking, is your decision based more on, on draft stock versus your preparation? Uh, that's that's one of the things I'm debating. So um, it's 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 a confusing subject. I mean, th that's that's the big debate. It, what's going to be best for my preparation? Uh, will my stock ever be as high as it is right now? So that's just one of the things I've been thinking about, and I really don't have a clear cut answer for you. Mitch, coach said that he felt like the offense underachieved the last few games of the season. Can you pinpoint an area as to where that happened most and why it happened? Yeah, I would just say uh, a lack of focus and maybe uh, and probably a lack of execution because we we've we've been running the same plays since training camp. We know the plays have worked. Uh, we're really just we're really just not every everyone's not on the same page doing their job. So. Um, I think it's gonna. It's just gonna take an attitude and mindset to come out there every day at practice, uh, in bowl prep, and when we step out there on game day, to everyone just needs to buy in. Everyone needs to do their job, 
and we need to go out there, have fun, and, and just execute the plays that are called. And uh, it's 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 a it's a simple game, and I think we're just trying to overcomplicate it as players that we just need to buy in and execute. Do you think the the break, you know, the three four week break between the last regular season game and this kind of gives you a chance to kind of reset and maybe kind of reflect on getting back on that same page? Yeah, I would say so because uh, we've underachieved as an offense so far, and we have a little bit more time to. Um, for, to one, take care of our bodies, um, two, watch more film on Stanford, and then three, uh, prepare and practice more the game plan that we have set in. So, I mean, really, if you look at it, we should be more, more prepared for this game than any other games just based on the time we have for it. And uh, I think if, if our leaders step up, we get everyone else on the team focused, that we should be able to execute the plays that, that we've been going over for two, three weeks before much, this game. How much, if any, do you think that the loss of, of Mac factored into that? It's about that time when the yeah. offense kind of sparked up. Yeah, I mean, it's tough when you lose one of your best playmakers and, more importantly, one of your biggest leaders. Him, Caleb Peterson, and John Ferranto were, were big pieces of the puzzle this year, all, all seniors, all uh, key players in our offense. And when you lose uh, that, that type of leadership and that type of playmaking ability, um, you got you to gotta find someone else to step up. And when it, whether it's a younger guy who doesn't have as much experience, there's going to be some off plays where the execution is just not not where it needs to be, but uh, but we all trust in the plan. We all believe in each other as an offense, so we're just going to continue to stick together, prepare for this game, and uh, play as hard as we possibly can. Because uh, but but it is tough losing losing guys, especially as Mac and Caleb and John and like that. So you just do what you can. What has been the feeling coming back after exams into practice? What have you seen from your teammates in terms of? I mean, it's been good. I mean, for one, we're all relieved exams are over because that's like as a crunch time period for us. I mean, especially me with the tough classes we got going. But uh, I think it just gives us the time that classes are done with. We're just able to come back, refocus, and um, and get ready for Stanford. So, I mean, from what I've seen at practice, guys are excited to be out there. We're getting after it. We're competing every day and continuing to improve our uh, craft. So I've been excited going out to practice, and I know everyone else has been too. You go back to you go back to South Carolina, Georgia, the bowl game against Baylor last year. How important is it for this program to get a win over a reputable non-ACC program like Stanford? I think it's huge. If uh, if we want this program to go where we want it to go, we got to finish off our last game. That's been one of our goals: win our last game. And to beat uh, a big a big name like Stanford, uh, that's a, that's going to be a quality win. So we're preparing as hard as we possibly can, and uh, uh, we're doing this for for each other and the program as well. So. Uh, this is a big game for us. We need we need to get this one.